for whatever reason, I never really got into watching That So Raven when I was growing up. I was aware of the show, certainly, and I probably did dip out of dip in and out of it now and then. But for whatever reason, I just never stuck with it. I found it on Disney Plus and thought I would give it another watch. I have seen Raven Simone in various films over the years and really like her acting style and I think she's great. So I thought maybe maybe now is the chance to give it a little bit of a renaissance. I am kind of watching a lot of certainly first episodes and in certain cases more episodes of shows that were popular when I was growing up because the nostalgia means so much to me and I am about to turn 30 so it's kind of you know something I'm very much uh, into at the moment. Unfortunately That's So Raven didn't seem to gel with me this time around either and there are a few reasons for it. Nothing that's necessarily the fault of the show it's more just the style of the show. I apologise if you heard my phone vibrate there. So the first episode is Mother Dearest. On IMDb it says that's the second episode, but Wikipedia and Disney Plus said it's the first episode, so I'm going with that. And this was released in 2003. Now, to be honest, I feel like this show is older than that. I feel like this made it, was out in maybe 2000. In 2003 I would have been... Well, it was in, in January, so I would have been 10 going on 11. And pretty much the target age for it. This episode, for information, is directed by Lee Shalat Chamel and um, stars, of course, Raven Simone as our protagonist, Raven Baxter. And in this episode, she's getting into a bit of trouble at school. And her teacher decides that he wants to have a meeting with her parents, but Raven is worried that her parents will suddenly think she's no longer their perfect child um, and dresses up as her mother and fakes the meeting. Now, you may think, so who cares if she's not perfect? That's kind of the message in this. Um, one of the strong messages in this is that it doesn't matter if you're not perfect. All that matters is that you try your best and that if you have a problem, you can go to your parents. I think that is a very strong message and I was really pleased to kind of hear that in this. Unfortunately, I think that message also needs to be given to parents, not just the children watching this. So hopefully parents will you know, be doing housework or something while this is on in the background and they will pay attention to that. Raven dressing up as her mother, I thought, was a little, I don't know, a little bit too cringeworthy. It just, you know, the performance was great. Her performance was great. The costume looks <laughs> crazy, but fantastic. But I just thought it was really cringeworthy and bizarre and not really necessary. Um, I think they could have gone down, gone down a different route. Um, it's kind of a silly humour, and I don't have a problem with shows that use silly humour, but at the time that wasn't really that popular among this kind of show or shows for this target audience. And I just hope that, you know, episodes after this didn't really resort to such gimmick. Um, I think that's the word that I want to use there. But at the same time, it's the first episode. I now expect that going forward, whereas I'd rather problems were solved um, in a more kind of witty humour kind of way or um, I don't know sarcasm any other kind of humour to get Raven out of this situation but just dressing up and using that really cringy visual gag just doesn't seem to work for me and I don't know why and again because it's the first episode it just seems a bit too much the other thing I had a problem with is that her psychic powers were kind of glossed over and not really explained very well Obviously, the intro explains it. She can see into the future. Um, but because this is the first episode, I feel like it should have gone into a bit more detail and explained why she was having this premonition. Um, it, it did make me curious. How are they going to use this feature in future episodes? Because if she can see into the future, it's obviously going to give her a chance to problem solve before a problem occurs. And I think that that's quite an interesting concept because usually problems have to be resolved after they've occurred. And I would be curious to see how they use that in episodes going on. But to be honest, I don't really want to continue watching it. I found this first episode to be just overbearing in some ways. It seemed to demand a lot. And I apologise if you can hear a car siren, out, uh, car siren outside. Um, I will wrap this up quickly so that doesn't get too annoying. Um, obviously brilliantly acted, very well acted. Um, I 
particularly enjoy Kyle Massey as Corey Baxter, um, Raven's brother. If anything, if I continued to watch this, I think it would be to see his character development because he's pretty great. I like that a lot of this is set in school and also Raven's house. I think that worked well um, going back and forth between the two. The editing was very good. Some of the editing was not that great. There's a scene at the beginning where we're kind of looking at the classroom through the teacher's eyes and we see Raven and then another pupil and another pupil and it's got this weird editing um, and weird special effects and I just thought it was really gimmicky and unnecessary. There's a lot about this where it's like they're trying to be funny and they're trying to be creative and they're just trying too hard. Now this show did pretty well. So while I'm saying they're trying too hard and it's not funny because they're trying to be funny rather than just being naturally funny, um, it still lasted for four seasons. So clearly people enjoyed it and it has done well and it does have an audience out there. I think the character of Raven could be quite likeable and relatable, but in this first episode, not so much. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm just, you know, maybe it's just not written for me. Maybe it's not my type of humour, even though I can see things where they are trying too hard and it just doesn't come across well. But I don't know. Maybe future episodes are more interesting. Maybe they don't try as hard. Maybe the humour is more natural. I won't give them a go, but please feel free to tell me what the future episodes are like and if they kind of have a similar theme or if they are... Um, pretty much along the same lines. The show obviously did very well. Raven Simone's acting is brilliant, but unfortunately it just feels like it's trying far too hard. The narrative isn't that well written, um, certainly with regards to the appearance of the psychic ability, unless it isn't actually the first episode and a lot of the internet is, is incorrect, in which case I admit that that point might be invalid. The weird editing, it, it could have been good if it just didn't try quite so hard.